Well, one aspect of the game that gets overlooked is the psychological view. How does it feel for a player to carry the nation's hopes? Is wearing the national shirt a burden? And how do you go into the game knowing that only a win will do? Well, to talk about some of those issues, I'm joined by Kevin George, the former West Ham and Charlton athletic footballer turned human performance consultant for the Premier League. And now he's an author. So Kevin, thank you very much for joining me on Beyond the Game. Can you actually go into the mechanics or possibly give an example of how the subconscious mind can affect a player and the performance? Oh, massively. So when you look at it unconsciously, and this is off the pitch as well as on the pitch, just as being a human being, but 80% of our behaviour is governed by um, our unconscious um, behaviours. So when players with football language, it's called habit. So when they keep training and being repetitive, it's about storing that ability to think without thinking. So where the game is, you know, it moves within like 100 miles an hour every 0.5 seconds, those players are literally training for those moments. However, if you've got things like pressure um, from external points of views, but also your state and how it gets affected during the game, what happens is, is that then affects your unconscious processes. So it could be a manager who's pressurizing you from the sidelines, telling you to do something. So then now what they're doing is they interfere with your unconscious. So what would come naturally is now becoming a situation where you have to make decisions. But to make decisions in a game consciously that moves so quickly, you either do them too slow or you become indecisive. And so when we look at football now in the World Cup stage, being able to operate unconsciously is... It's all, and by the way, I'm not saying all the time to do that because that wouldn't always work. But in defining moments, you haven't got time to consciously think. And uh, one more question. Uh, the shock of the tournament so far has been Germany being knocked out of the tournament. But one player who's been heavily criticised is Mesut Ozil. Now, he's been described as having a body language like a dead frog. Um, you said that there's an unhealthy amount of unqualified body language experts in football that damage careers. Can you expand on that? You've got people from different backgrounds, different cultures, and what people do is then project. A lot of coaches project their values and beliefs and their habits and their map of the world into others. So if I don't understand your body language or if it doesn't fit into my perspective of what body language should be, then what I'll do is I'll criticise you until you fit into how I feel you should behave. And with Mesut Ozil, unfortunately for him, I always stand to his defence because I feel that like he always gets criticised when the team doesn't perform well. I'm not saying that he doesn't have a bad game, but I would say just judge him on his performance. I don't feel that there are people qualified in body language to say his body language is X and it should be Y. Because really and truly, we can't do that because we don't know what's going on with inside Mesut Ozil. He had the same body language from when they won the World Cup. You know, he had the same body language when he was at Real Madrid. He has, he's always had the same body language. But I think there's a pattern that when a team's not performing, you know, globally, we always pick up the number 10s. We almost think, OK, now you've got to, you know, roll up your sleeves and get stuck in. But that's not what they do. That's not what the number 10 bring to the game. When they, when they get stuck in, when they dig in, it's to be more creative. It's to be more of what they are. You know, if you are that tough tackling, maybe holding midfielder, you will do that even more. So I feel that when people come out and say, you know, his body language is X, I feel, you know, what should it be? And really and truly, there is no answer for that. 